What's up, my triple loving YouTube friends? Is that a beautiful sight or what? Oh my goodness, it's a bright blue sky, sunny day, some snow on the ground. Winter finally showed itself. A couple days ago, we got a little bit of snow. Um, not really even enough. I even want to go riding. It's not going to happen. Uh, but we did pull the sleds out to neighbor Josh's yard. Um, they're going to jump on the sleds, take them back and forth the yard a few times to uh, do some ripping on them. These two RXLs right here, we just got done rebuilding them, and that is the first time both these sleds have actually been on snow in 22 years. Uh, it was 02 the last time these sleds have ever ran. We rebuilt the engines in them, um, and we just pulled them out of the shop today onto the snow for the very first time in 22 years. Pretty exciting, I think. Um, but we got the other two sleds sitting out here too, so we're going to rip them around a little bit too. But just such a beautiful weather, and it's going to be like 40 degrees today, and tomorrow it's going to be like 50 the rest of the week. The snow's going to be gone, so this is my one and only chance to actually get some video of all the sleds on snow. Um, so yeah, let's have the guys fire them up, and they're just going to take turns on a couple of them here, rip them back and forth a little bit, and, and uh, get to see and hear them run. Part sled sounds so much louder than two bag. <laughs> I mean, it's dramatic. <laughs> Josh's lawn, he don't care. <laughs> You guys should do a couple more laps but switch the sleds that you rode the first time into a different sled and then we can have a little comparison of what you thought about each sled then when you guys are done
Yeah, part sled's pretty close. What do you think of two bag then, Josh? Is it? Yeah, I think it needed to open up. And yep. Once it opened up, it went. It, I mean, if it, it feels nice too, doesn't? It? I rode it the other day in the snow, and I'm like, God, this thing just it feels nice, yeah. you know. Yeah, I, I think two bag's going to be a, a pretty fun sled on the, a nice tight windy trail because of the, you know, kind of a more racer suspension and stuff in it. And mm -hmm. yeah, that, those are, they're both really fun sleds. Oh uh, yeah, they'll switch on the RXLs and yeah. try them out now. Everything here has brand new, brand new engines in them. And this is the most they've actually even been ridden, period, right now. <laughs> so still a little bit of dialing in to do. Uh, they're all running on heavily mixed gas right now, plus the oil injection I'm sure is kicking in now too. So they're all smoking very heavily. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think they're all, considering the circumstances, I think they're all running pretty dang good right now. I don't know what you guys think. I mean, yeah. you ripped them. Yeah, they're running decent. I mean, they sound great. Um, I don't know, did mine ever pull out of its stumble bog in Trenton or yeah. my, on the, my RXL? Uh, kind of. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe we need to still look into the fuel injection a little bit on that one. It is, it seems to be running kind of rich, um, but that could be just a couple adjustments away of running really good. So but yeah, these are uh, pretty much probably not going to see snow again this year unless we got two feet of snow for some crazy reason. We'll probably take them back out of the shop again, but wanted to get them out here, get them on the snow so everybody could see them in action for once. Uh, in our yard, our yard's too short. Josh is a little longer. We can kind of open let the legs run a little bit over here. So thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed them. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to build now, but we'll figure out something. Thanks for watching.